Hi, I'm Elizabeth Ween, and I'm a time tunneler. I write books featuring adventure stories set during World War II and featuring young people who fly aircraft. My best known book is Codename Verity, which is about two young women during World War II who are best friends, one of them a pilot and one of them a spy. The Pearl Thief is a mystery set in Scotland in the 1930s, and The Enigma Game, my most recent full-length novel, is about a Royal Air Force squadron of Blenheim bomber pilots set in Scotland again. And I've also written three books, which are easy readers for Barrington Stoke, Firebird, White Eagles, and The Last Hawk. What they all have in common is that they all feature young people who are pilots. I'm actually a pilot too, and there's all sorts of paraphernalia that go along with being a pilot, such as your license, your logbook, in which you record all the flights that you've managed to do, and a number of other things, such as maps, and your headset. Artifacts like the pilot's map are things that I find kind of fascinating because, of course, they've been used for years and years. And here's one from the 1930s. And here's one that was used by escaping airmen who might have been shot down over enemy territory in the 1940s. The ballpoint pen was designed for the use of pilots during World War II. The Victorian house that I live in is also an artifact. And it's really in trying to find out more about this house and what must have been going on here during World War II that made me discover the story I'm about to tell you. And it all started with my garden wall. Lots of fence railings like this one were cut down during World War II to be used as metal to make ammunition and cannons for the war effort. Here's what's left of those railings in the garden wall. I used to think that these stumps of where the iron railings used to be were the scars of how the war affected my house. But when I started digging into the history of my house, I discovered that its invisible scars were much more tragic. The only child of a couple who lived in my house for 40 years left that house to go to war and never came back. Chick Powery was a navigator in the Royal Air Force. He was part of a team of pathfinders, a dangerous job in which an advanced aircraft would have to find and mark an attack site for a bomber squadron, dropping flares in the dark that would light up the enemy target. On the 7th of December, 1940, he and five other crew members in a Wellington bomber flew into atrocious weather in the dark to mark the target for a bombing raid in Germany. They vanished later that night somewhere over the North Sea aircraft failed to return, is what the official report said. This wartime poster encouraging people to donate metal to the war effort is a picture of a Wellington bomber just like Chick's. His own fence railings may have become part of the plane that he died in. Everything I know about Chick, the color of his mother's hair and eyes, the kind of plane he flew, the date of his disappearance, even his nickname, I dug up by accident simply because I wanted to know more about my own old house. And that's the way all my stories begin, finding connections between the ordinary and the extraordinary, between daily life and drama, between the past and the present. So for your next writing challenge, see if you can find an interesting wartime fact connected with your house or your street or your city or someplace nearby. Local museums are a very good place to start, as are local libraries. Find a wartime artifact that interests you and try to think of an emotional connection some person might have had with that artifact. Then write a short poem or a tribute to that person using the artifact as your inspiration. Maybe you'll end up in the clouds just like I do.